Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today, I will be teaching you how to make this animated crowd effect using some very simple math. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's hide the old scene, and let's add in a new plane. This plane will be where the folks will, the crowd will be. So to do that, let's move this part over to here and just put the face on the steps right here where the crowd will be. There we go, and then let's just put it up onto here. That should be pretty good. And then what we want to do is add in a new geometry node and distribute points on these faces. So to do that, let's use the distribute points on faces node. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's set the density to 1. That seems like it would be a good enough points for our crowd. Next, what we want to do is instance a collection of folks. Here, I just have 2D planes because that's what the scene uh, needs. But you could have 3D characters as well for this. And these are already in a crowd collection right here. So let's go and instance that crowd collection on these points. So instance on points node, then let's input our collection. There we go. Let's use the crowd one. And if we hook this up into here, we will see that the crowd is way too numerous and in the wrong position. So to fix that, we need to check separate children, reset children, and pick instance so that there's only one instance on each point. Okay, now that we have that set up, we could get to the animation process. So to do that, let's use a set position node to set the position, and we will use, be using the rotation node to set the rotation. So to affect that, we are going to use a noise texture set to 1D. So, oh, 1D, sorry. We want the scale to be 2 and the detail to be 1. There we go. So if I were to hook this up into the offset right here, we only want to affect the Z position. We could see that all the characters are moving up and down at the same rate as I move the W value. We want to change that. So let's add in a random value node so that each character will have a random value for the noise texture. I'm setting this to 100 just so that there's a good enough variation. And then I'm going to add in a math node so that we can animate this. So to animate that, let's use a value node and input hashtag frame so that we get the frame number. There we go. And I, I am going to use a math node set to divide so that we could set the speed. So let's hook that into there and this into here. As we can see, it's moving too fast. So let's set the divide node to 30. And as we can see, it is moving at a good pace. But one problem that we are seeing is that it's moving the characters too high. It's not moving them down and up. It's just moving them up. So to fix that, let's set this multiply node to subtract and set this to 0.5. This will just make it so that the displacement is even instead of just going straight up. So yeah, that seems pretty good. We could set the multiply node to 0.5 if we want, if we think that the they're jumping a bit too much. I think 0.75 should be good for this. Okay, let's add in a frame just so that we can organize these nodes and move them around easily enough. Always make sure to organize your nodes, otherwise things get way too complicated way too fast. Okay, now that we have this set up, let's move this over to here, and then let's start affecting the rotation. So to do that, let's add in another multiply node, but we want this to affect the y-axis. So let's put that into the rotation and set the multiply on the y-axis to 1. And as we can see, the crowd is now cheering and rotating on the y-axis pretty well. That gives the representation that the folks are jumping and waving. And that's pretty much the entire effect. But we could go one step further. As we can see, if I move over here, the, since these are car cardboard cutouts, uh, they're not facing the camera. But we can make them face a camera. So let's add in a new camera node right here, or just a camera object, not necessarily a node. Let's bring it over here. I'm going to press Control B so that we're looking through this camera instead of the five other cameras I have in the scene. This scene is a restoration project of an old uh, Mario Kart level, so that might be a future uh, video, but for now, let's have our camera right over to here. And let's have it fit the people face this camera. So to do that, 
we are going to input the object in question, which is our camera. So let's go and select that camera. And now that we have this, we can have the folks face this camera by using the align Euler to vector node right here. So let's hook that into there. And as we could see, the folks are not facing the right direction. That's because we need to add in a position node and then subtract the object position by the um, instance position. Sorry about that. Let's hook that into there and this into here. Make sure this is set to relative. And now if we hook that up, we can see that the folks are facing the direct opposite way of what we want. To fix that, just set this to Y. As we can see, if we were to move this camera, the folks are facing that direction no matter where we put it. So if I were to move all the way over here, the folks are facing all the way over to here and vice versa. So yeah, that and we could also limit the rotation to the Z axis so that the folks don't like rotate sideways. So yeah, that's basically the entire effect. Pretty nice. All the folks are happily jumping and having just an overall good time. So yeah, that's basically the entire effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe because more tutorials like this will be coming. There are many more things that I could show off in the scene, like the gondolas right here or the, the ski lifts. And yeah, make sure you check out my Gumroad account. There's many good free and paid stuff in there. Many good projects. And yeah, let's see. Did I mention anything else? Oh, Twitter account. I have that. I have an Instagram account. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.